I liked an artisan so much that I decided to buy switches based on them. What am I doing? This review isn't sponsored or affiliated and I bought these myself. These are the Corpse Switches by Tiny Makes Things and Canon Keys. You might notice a very familiar color scheme that these switches have. I actually got them because Tiny made a post explaining that they are similar to lavender switches, which have a reputation of being very smooth. I was hesitating on buying lavenders because I have so many switches already, but the Corbs theme is a super awesome bonus and is what really sold me on getting these. They're priced at 65 cents a switch, so they are a mid-range switch. The main similarity between the lavenders and the Corbs is that the top and bottom housings are made of nylon and the stem is made of palm. Now there may be differences because of the effect that the coloring has on the material. However, aside from the color, the biggest difference is the 62 gram spring versus the 65 gram spring on the lavenders. Unfortunately, the site doesn't explicitly say this. However, from my understanding, unless stated otherwise, the switches will have a linear spring. You can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Please let me know because I want to be as accurate as possible. Unlubed, the switches are smooth, but so smooth that any looseness in the housing can be felt and heard. The lightness allows for the smallest sounds to carry through. This includes a little rattle that developed with use. That said, I did a light lubing to get rid of the sound and to keep the smoothness. I just lubed the stem, bag lubed the springs, and lubed the top housing to get rid of any rattle that might be caused by loose contact with the bottom housing and the stem. And it's super nice. They were already fairly nice, but this is one of the biggest jumps in quality I've experienced for modding a switch. So I definitely recommend lubing them. In regards to the feel, they're still really smooth, as you probably guessed. They have a nice light, almost airy key press. I want to say this feeling almost reminds me of the KTT Peaches or the Sea Salt Lemons, except these have more weight and bounciness on the return. In regards to the sound, despite having a shorter stem than the Peaches, these have a much deeper sound profile. I'll show you the stems here in comparison with two other switches. In the middle is the Corbs, on the right is the Zakus, and on the left is the Peaches. As you can see, it's the shortest of the two. In regards to the sound, despite having a shorter stem than the Peaches, these have a much deeper sound profile. The Peaches have a hard clack, as you will hear in the sound test, while these have a very unique and rich sound to them. They are also surprisingly muted. With that, let's do a sound test.
The switches having more weight is important to me because my one issue with the KTT Peaches is that the long pole in combination with its lightness makes for a bit of an unsatisfying key press. The Corbs are not long pole and also have a good resistance to give it a very comfortable and satisfying key press while still providing the light airiness I wanted. This allows it to be a very good daily driver if you're typing a lot while still feeling very exciting. The sounds are just as satisfying and unique. Again, with a light lubing, the rattle and all other housing sounds are cleared out, allowing the switch to really show its voice. And it has a really gorgeous voice. I just want to note that I don't dislike Peaches. They are still a very good switch, especially for the price range. It's just that for the added cost, the Corbs really address the things that I wish were different. This is all preference though, and although I enjoy the feeling of one over the other, this doesn't mean that you will also. I would definitely recommend these switches. And who would I recommend these to? Users that like lighter actuations, a poppy sound, need a daily driver, and love Kirby or the Corby artisans that these are based on. I'm honestly really happy with these switches, especially because it's been a month or two since I've looped switches, so it was nice getting back into it and remembering that accomplished feeling of spending so much time on something and having it pay off so nicely. I'm trying to stream more regularly starting Thursday and Sunday. I'm sorry I missed last week. There was just so much going on with the Lunar New Year, but I'll be doing a build on Thursday and adjusting the foam on my Thera, so keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me over these last few months creating content for this amazing hobby we share. I hope you have a great day and stay squared.